Steve Fisher is with us on the Subway Fresh Take Hotline. How are you, Coach? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Uh, we were well. I had the, the opportunity to talk to you on Sports Center the other night, and so we were talking about geography. And if you would, share with our audience just how significant you think that is. Tucson, and then if you're lucky enough to go on, Anaheim, that's a close proximity for you, for your team, for your fans. Just how significant do you think that is? I think it's uh, very significant, the fact that, uh, we're an hour plane right away. I do believe we'll have a lot of fans that will drive over, fly over. Uh, a year ago, we were Providence, uh, three hours, uh, a three-hour time change to get there. Uh, so it, it should it should uh, work in our favor, but we still have to have to play. But I'm excited of the fact that we're we're here in Tucson. Steve, it's hard to believe that a team uh, can be 32-2 and two and still flying under the radar a little bit nationally. Uh, talk about how good you think your team is. And, and many people may not know Kawhi Leonard and just how good of a player he is. Uh, talk, talk about your, uh, your sophomore star. Jay, we have a very, very good basketball team. We're athletic. If you uh, look at our front line, uh, we can play multiple positions. We can guard multiple people. Kawhi Leonard, who came in very heralded, the most highly publicized recruit in the history of San Diego State. He was player of the year in the state of California, Mr. Basketball in the state of California. And he has come close to living up to those expectations. He's uh, got huge hands, long arms, uh, very, very fiercely competitive, uh, has become a threat in multiple spots. He's very good off the dribble. He's as good an offensive rebounder, I think, as uh, there is in the country. And he's improved uh, his ball handling, his outside shooting. He's, he's legitimate. He's, he's a guy that is very, very difficult to guard. And he uh, has a like all really good players, got a burning desire to win. Uh, he's our leading scorer, but he's not uh, shot hungry. So he's good. He's he's very good. And really, our, as the guards, we're led by DJ Gay, who's our veteran senior, who's really flies under the radar for most people. I have labeled DJ as our most important player. He went seven and a half games without a turnover during one stretch, and has had three game-winning shots for us. So it, this is a very good basketball team, and I'm hopeful that we will play well and we'll have more people get an opportunity to, to see just how good they are. How, how difficult was it for you? you? You were an assistant under Bill Frieder at Michigan, the head coach at Michigan, a big-time basketball school. How difficult was it for you to, to go to San Diego State, a, a place where, frankly, basketball wasn't the top priority, and, and build it into a, a program that could compete uh, favorably for a national championship? Jay, this is our 12th season here, and our first year we did not win the conference game. We were 0-14 in the league play. It took us a year and a half to win a road game. Um, and it, it was a process. Uh, we worked very hard to recruit. We got lucky our third year. It, towards the end of the season, we got really good and wound up winning the conference tournament. We found it finished fourth in the league but won the conference tournament. Uh, this will be our fourth trip to the NCAA tournament, first time we've ever been able to go back-to-back, and I think that will be helpful for us. But it's been a, it's, it's been a process. We've had great administrative support. Uh, I've got a president who's retiring at the at the end of the school year, Dr. Steve Weber, who's been a, a godsend for us in the values, athletics, knows the, the importance of it, and has been really good. And we've grown everything from our victories to our fan base. Our first year, we averaged maybe 2,500. This year, we sold out every game with the exception of one, and it's a beautiful arena, seats 12,414. And to illustrate, uh, we had a game New Year's Eve with a Division Three team at 2 in the afternoon, and it was a sellout. Uh, hmm. It's been a great atmosphere, and 
it, it, we, we're the hot ticket in town right now. Uh, but, you know, we, we probably should be at 30, 32 and 2. 